Here we have an armature segment from a shaded pole motor. It is made up of laminated plates of mild steel, which basically means the steel does not retain any magnetism once the magnetic field is removed from the steel. This segment normally has a coil of wire, of varnished electric wire surrounding the base of the pole. I remove the coil for visual purposes. The curved section is usually about five thousandths of an inch from the rotor or about the thickness of a piece of paper. The reason for this closeness is for the best magnetic transfer efficiency. The further away it is from the motor will cause reduced magnetic flux effect. Here we can see a band of copper wire. It controls approximately one third of the exposed area of the curved pole facing the rotor. Here is where the magic begins. In an AC or alternating current electric generator, it creates a voltage that starts out as a positive voltage peaking at, for instance, 120 volts, then decreasing to zero voltage and continuing to decrease to minus 120 volts, then begins increasing and repeating at 60 times per second, called 60 cycles. So, as this voltage increases in the armature coil, it creates a magnetic field traveling through the laminated plates and out of the larger pole area. The armature is now affected by the electrical increase and causes a magnetic flux to be created and increase in strength in the pole. The copper band or shaded pole is also energized by this increase in voltage, but because of electrical resistance, the copper band resists being instantly brought up to the same voltage by the induced magnetic field passing through it. At the same moment, the large unshaded part of the armature pole is reacting with the rotor. Then as the shaded part of the armature pole is being influenced by the electric current induced in the copper band, meaning to increase the magnetic flux within the shaded pole area, is now reacting with the motor. Then as the voltage decreases in the coil, the magnetic flux decreases in the pole piece, which next causes the same decrease in the shaded pole, but because of the momentum of the electric decrease in the copper band, this shift in magnetic flux positioning causes the rotor to be attracted to the shaded pole area as a result of the influence all this has had on the rotor. This is the cause for rotation as a similar event happens in the rotor, rotor and attracts the rotor to the shifting of energized and de-energized poles.